You're watching Football Daily and today we're looking at the 10 worst transfers in football history. Number 10. Juan Sebastian Veron to Manchester United for £28 million. The oldest transfer on this list, Juan Sebastian Veron came to United with a huge amount of pedigree. The Argentine had won the double with Lazio and was set to come to England in his peak at 26 years of age. Even though he said he had no fear of the Premier League, watching him play certainly felt like he did. That never stopped Fergie though, who called the media idiots when they called him an expensive flop as Sir Alex said he was a great player. Veron might have been a fantastic footballer, but he was just one of the cases of a player who didn't fit English football. 9. Radamel Falcao to United on loan The less said about Falcao's two years in England, the better, with his time at United somehow both hilarious and depressing at the same time. Returning from a serious knee injury, Falcao joined Manchester United for an initial loan fee of £6 million, but a whole heap of cash in wages as well, with the Red Devils paying £265,000 a week. The reward for their money, just four goals in 29 games. No wonder they didn't decide to sign him permanently for £43 million. 8. Mario Goetze to Bayern Munich for €37 million. Euros. Once dubbed the brightest prospect in world football, things haven't quite quite panned out for Goetze since leaving Dortmund for rivals Bayern in 2013. Limited playing time in a side packed with superstars has stagnated the youngster's development and even when he did get the game time, it was mostly out wide or as a false nine, not his ideal position. It came then as no surprise when Goetze rejoined Dortmund for £22 million in July 2016 where he'll be looking to get his career back on track alongside his best mate Marco Royce. 7. Asia Iramendi to Real Madrid for €32 million. Euros. The highest fee for a Spaniard in Madrid history, it's safe to say Iramendi didn't live up to the bill of being Xabi Alonso's heir to the throne when he joined in 2013. The Basque-born defensive midfielder built a reputation of being a solid defender with a natural ability to ease transitions from defence to attack at Sociedad, but failed to oppress in 90 underwhelming appearances at Los Blancos. Not quite top-level material, Asia ended up back at Sociedad, with the Madrid side making a £17 million loss on the player. 6. Zlatan Ibrahimovic to Barcelona for €46 million Euros and Samuel Eto'o He might have won almost everything ever, but Zlatan's move from Inter to Barca just made no sense at all. For a start, the Catalan club threw Eto'o into the deal, despite him being one of their best strikers ever. Add on to that an extra €46 million, Euros, and suddenly this is one of the most expensive deals of all time. Then Barca didn't even use Zlatan properly, shunting him out wide and leaving him to conclude that Barca brought a Ferrari but drove it like a Fiat. He won La Liga, of course, and banged in 22 goals before leaving after just one season on a loan deal to Milan, who snapped him up permanently for just €24 million Euros the season after. 5. Christian Benteke to Liverpool for £30 million Coming off the back of a 13-goal bonanza in a rotten Aston Villa side, Benteke's reward for saving the club from relegation was a big money move up north to Liverpool in 2015. At £30 million, it looked like a decent purchase for a striker with Premiership pedigree, with a home debut goal and a man of the match performance seeing him confirm a good piece of business. However, aside from a top quality over a kick finish against United, there weren't many more bright spots in a season that saw Benteke fail to fit into the Liverpool team. Poor link up play and a tendency to drift away from the box has left him down the pecking order at Anfield, and now a move back down the table seems almost inevitable. 4. Andy Carroll to Liverpool for £35 million Big Geordie battering rant and everyone's plan B, Andy Carroll was once a young starlet with a bright future. He'd just helped get Newcastle promoted to the Prem with 17 goals and had netted 11 in 19 in the top flight when Liverpool came calling in 2011. A panic buy from the Reds? Maybe. They had just sold talisman Fernando Torres to Chelsea, <laughs> more on that later, and had the best part of £50 million to splash, so they spunked it all over Mike Ashley's face with a £35 million offer for Big Andy. A staggeringly awful 11 goals in 58 games followed, so Carroll was shifted out to West Ham for just £15 million, where injuries have limited his impact at the club. He's still the third most expensive English player of all time though. Angel Di Maria to Manchester United for £60 million. La decima hero Angel Di Maria was fresh off the back of a glorious season with Real Madrid and a man of the match performance in the Champions League final when he was forced out of the club by the shiny new Galactico, James Rodriguez. 
Angel up sticks and moved to Old Trafford for £60 million to work under the then legend Louis van Gaal. Things look good to begin with too, after the Argentinian bagged two goals and two assists in his first four games, but the move quickly went south. A hamstring injury, being played out of position, and an attempted burglary on his new house saw Di Maria move after just one season to PSG when they put him out of his misery with a £44 million move. He's done alright since then. 2. Dimitro Chagrinsky to Barcelona for €25 million. Euros. Just pipped to the worst on our list, but still probably the most bizarre, is the signing of Ukrainian brute Dimitro Chigrinsky, who signed for Pep Guardiola's Barcelona all the way back in 2009. Fresh off the back of winning the UEFA Cup with Shakhtar Donetsk and with supposedly silky ball-playing skills, the centre-half was supposed to slot in nicely to Barcelona's tiki-taka style. But just one god-awful season into a five-year deal, Chigrinsky was packed off to Shakhtar, leaving Barca for €10 million Euros left than each joined. Still, he did win a La Liga title while he was there, despite making just 12 appearances for that €25 million Euro fee. Number 1. Fernando Torres to Chelsea for £50 million Ah yes, the biggest transfer flop of all time is none other than Chelsea's star acquisition, El Nino, who joined for an eye-watering £50 million in January 2011. Torres had been a goal-scoring machine with Liverpool and had enjoyed Euro and World Cup success with Spain prior to his move to Stamford Bridge. But by the time he moved to London, he was already on the decline, managing just 9 in 23 with Liverpool after having knee surgery and being rushed back to take part in Spain's 2010 World Cup win. Chelsea didn't care about those warning signs though and ended up with a striker who mustered a paltry 45 goals in 172 games. Then again, the memory of him scoring at the Camp Nou to put Chelsea into a Champions League final was still probably worth the 50 million pounds by itself to the Blues at home. So that was our top 10 worst transfers but who should have made the list? Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video why don't you check out Lionel Messi's everything you need to know playing on screen right now and there's a link in the description and as always guys please do like and subscribe.